All right. So this is how the golf ball and uh, impact and bounce and rolling are set up. So we have our golf ball blueprint here. And I uh, had Mike, our programmer, expose um, an event that receives ball hit surface. And this returns the surface material that it hits as well as the impact velocity. And we're using that impact velocity to determine whether we're going to play an impact sound or a bounce sound. And we basically have this set up so that we're setting the velocity that we get from from the engine on the ball and we have a switch for our surface types set up and then we're setting um, surface type parameter values um, to each of these so we can determine which surface material type to play within FMOD and then we have a branch with a condition because remember I mentioned that we were determining which sound to play based on the velocity. And so basically, if the velocity is less than negative 1300, then we're going to play the impact sound. So we have a play event for the impact sound. It's attached to the ball. And we're setting the global parameter for the ground material uh, and getting the surface type parameter for that. If it if it's false, then it's going to play a bounce sound. And so we have the same sort of setup, an event for the bounce, and then we also have um, setting the global parameters for the surface material. So for the rolling, we're doing something similar, except we're going to use speed. And it's a little complex here because we're setting up a sequence. And in that sequence, we're setting the ball speed that we're getting from the game. We're also doing the same uh, step here where we're setting the surface type. And then we have a branch. And the reason we have a branch is because we needed to find a way to stop the ball from rolling since it's a looping sound, but it's also played um, attached to the golf ball. But the golf ball doesn't get destroyed at the end, so it doesn't clear up and the sound won't end. So we have to tell it to end. So we decided to use speed. If the speed is less than one, then we will trigger a stop event for that play event. And so, uh, so as the ball is rolling, if it's false, it's going to play the rolling event. And we have it set to do once so that it only triggers that event once. And so we have that playing and then we're setting uh, our surface type parameter so we know which rolling sound to play. If it's true that the ball speed reduces below one, then we're going to find the event, uh, the rolling ball event, and for each loop we're going to stop the event and then that completes that, uh, that circuit and so we reset the do once. So that way, if, for example, the ball somehow gets knocked out of uh, and starts up rolling again for whatever reason, we'll go through that process of playing the event until the speed drops to below one. So let's take a look at what this looks like in, this, in the actual game. So, here's my guy. And we're playing. 